Hello. <laughs> uh, good morning. Okay, so I'm going to set my alarm for 10 minutes. I'm going to just craft. I'm actually working on some of my beads. Um, I'm sorry, you're not going to see my head. You're just going to see me working with my beads. Uh, I felt like I needed to talk today. I don't know. I don't even know if people even care about these, I don't know, showing my crafting, you know, making paper beads. It's boring, I suppose. I mean, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so been not feeling well for the last two weeks. I finally have started to feel better. I'm, I still got a little bit of stuff in my lungs. I can feel it. Uh, I was take, I've been taking it easy with exercising because I tried to exercise for a while there and I physically got worse. Uh, like the next day after I took a walk, I was like, uh, you know, and I took a nice good walk. I think I posted it in my video, in one of my, if anybody watches those videos where, you know, I'm trying to keep myself accountable for, uh, the foods I eat and, um, you know, stuff like that. You know, I want to keep, keep account of what I am putting into my body so I can have a doctor or somebody tell me, what am I doing that's wrong? Because, well, at least now with while I'm on these, um, now that I've been taking the, the, um, uh, uh, the birth control pills, my weight has stopped just ballooning. Like, because I don't know what it was, but something with, uh, you know, hormone imbalance, you know, going into early menopause or whatever you want to call it. Or maybe that's just what my body says it because it's obviously it is because I've skipped months of periods. Uh, I'll have a period one month. I won't have one. I'll have a period. I'll have a period. But anyway, we're not talking about that. Uh, but anyway, I've just, you know, that's just how I, you know, I gained 60 pounds in like three months and ever since I started taking those birth control pills, I've actually, my weight has just leveled off. And now that my weight has leveled off and I'm not gaining a whole bunch, I decided, well, you know, since my husband went into the ER, um, actually for the second time, 72 days ago, because that's what day I'm on, because I started watching what I ate or, you know, and being more self con I don't think it's calorie counting that I should be doing to try to lose weight. I really should talk to a dietitian and see what, what it is I really need to do. Um, because I want to, I want to get back to a normal, you know, a nice, good target weight that I would like to get to. And, that, and some people that are already thin would be like, oh my God, that's fucking fat. As my target weight would be 190. That's, you know, not nowhere near what I was at when I, before I had children, uh, when I, before I had children, I weighed 120 or yeah, 120. I was in size six, uh, jeans and, uh, was wearing size five, six dresses and stuff, or I'm not sure what size dress it's been a while, <laughs> but anyway, it's not the size of dress I wear now. So, oops, it's fuzzy, but anyway. I tried to remember to show them. Um, but anyway, I don't know. I just, you know, I've been trying to keep myself accountable. That's why I do those videos. I don't do them to try to brag or show off or any of that. It is not meant to be that at all. It's for me to hold myself accountable for, you know, that way it's something I do every day that I am, you know, I'm, I'm not good. I'm not perfect. Um, dieting has been very hard for me, but, um, I've cut, uh, pop out of my diet. I did that. What five, let's see. Um, I stopped drinking pop and smoking on the same day. Um, June 14th of 2012. I quit smoking. So 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, so it's been five years, five, almost five and a half years now. And, you know, I haven't had a cigarette since. Um, I don't drink pop unless you count, like, when I have those ginger ales and, you know, or, like, if I have, like, the occasional root beer float. If you count those as drinking pop, then I guess I can't say that I'm totally whatever. Oh, I also stopped drinking coffee then, too, because I was a big, heavy coffee drinker. Um, I didn't like, I never was a big coffee drinker where you drink coffee with creamer and sugars. I always liked just black coffee. That was like the thing I loved. And I've been reading that just drinking black coffee is pretty good for you, but not in the quantity that I was drinking it. So, um, cause I did have caffeine withdrawals and those headaches suck. <laughs> Uh, anybody who has ever tried quitting caffeine knows exactly, um, you know, I'm not really in camera, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to talk today just cause, oh, and it's, uh, Victory Monday, so, <laughs> uh, I'll take my win wherever I can get it, even if, <laughs> um, Game was not spectacular, but at least it was a win at home. And those are the ones that matter the most. Well, any win is a, a good win. Um, anyway, so I'm going to try to get a lot of these finished. I've been, uh, like I said, I just wanted to craft today. I don't even know who watches these videos. <laughs> Uh, I saw that I lost a, two subscribers over the week, the, the last two weeks since I've been sick. And it's like, well, you know what? Whatever happens, what happens? Um, but, you know, I don't even make money on my channel, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but, yeah, I've been just sick, not feeling well. I've been struggling with trying to at least keep up with my food and exercise journal, plus just making sure I had my Inktober drawing, <coughs> my Inktober drawing done each day. Uh, there were days there where I was like, I didn't want to crawl out of bed, but I did anyway, and you know, I'm glad I did. You know, but some of the drawings, you know, the, the whole reason why I did this challenge was to try to challenge myself to see if I, you know, just to get back into drawing. I'm, you know, I'm a mom who decided, you know, was told long ago, you know, back in, in the 90s, you can't make money off of being an artist. And, you know, and I believed my father when he said that. So I went right into the workforce. And besides, I didn't really have the best of grades to go to college anyway. I don't know. So I just, whatever, and just lost my interest in drawing. I still loved crafting. I have not, I've actually spe stepped up my crafting uh, in the last several years. Um, I still like to craft, but I haven't been doing any drawing. But, you know, with like doing the September doodle drawing, I started with that and I was like, you know, that was fun. Uh, from C Lemon. I did her September one with her prompts. And then I was like, I saw people were talking about Inktober. And I was like, I never heard of that before because I was, I'm not, I was not subscribed to a lot of art channels on YouTube. Uh, so, but I am, I'm, I'm, I'm subscribed to a lot of art channels now where I at least know that community and, or, well, at least know some of the stuff that goes on. And I was like, oh, I'm not very good at ink drawing, so I'll, you know, try that out. So I've been, you know, trying it out. I'm not the best artist in the world. <laughs> I'm not even very good at art. But I figured, you know what? I'm doing it for me as a way to get back into doing some kind of art. I mean, I got people who aren't even, who aren't very crafty or like, I can't even make these paper beads and I'm sitting here going, they don't try. You know, you know, people say that they can't do certain things, but then you find out that they're not even trying to begin with. So, 
it's hard to take them at face value for what, you know, when they say they can't do something. It's like, you can do it. Anybody can learn to draw. Anybody can learn a craft. You just need to just pick up the thing and do it. You know, it's just like cooking. Oh, that was my 10 minutes. So I'm actually going to end this. Um, and I'm going to make this a part two because I just feel like talking today. Whether people watch them or not, that's their choice. So I'm going to end for now. And I'm going to start up part two. And I'm going to talk more about, um, you know, picking up skills and learning the new things. So this is just something I've learned over, you know, being a mom. All right. So if you want to watch part two, watch part two. Okay. Bye.